Now I'm gonna moisturize my hair, do a little chit chat. <laughs> uh, Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Diamond, also known as The Quality Name here on YouTube, Instagram, and technically Twitter. Uh, please don't, don't mind my face. Uh, definitely going through some things, just being transparent. Uh, but I wanted to uh, just show you guys my moisturizing routine for my hair. But before I do that, I wanted to share with you all uh, two fragrances that I got from Dossier. Uh, and you guys, I feel like I've talked about them maybe once or twice before now. Uh, but if you don't know, Dossier is basically a company that has found a way to sell high-end scents um, in an affordable way and they smell incredible super great one of the things that's like really cool about them when you do make a purchase for your uh, fragrance you also get a sample size that comes with it so that you can have a scent um test it out see how you feel if you don't love it if you're not like absolutely obsessed you have 30 days to return no questions asked like sounds like a win-win to me you, you get to try out some perfume you like it you love it you don't hey yeah who win-win you know yeah yeah, yeah kind of no maybe yeah, no. <laughs> uh but the two scents that i got this time were the woody geranium which oh my gosh you guys i don't know what it is about like unisex set <laughs> unisex cells <laughs> about unisex uh, fragrances but something about them just makes me feel like yeah i'm bringing my masculine and my feminine what's up and what about it it smell good okay uh and i also got the musky guy yak don't start me to lion i don't even know if i said that right but oh my gosh it smells so good like y'all people be like mm -hmm. <laughs> what you got going on over there so if you are looking for a place to get some fragrance, some new scents, definitely try out Dossier. And I will leave a, a discount code in the description box below for you guys. Uh, yeah, so now I'm going to moisturize my hair, do a little chit chat. <laughs> uh, mm. And I'm going to fix the lighting on this. Let me see. I think. I didn't know. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, so I actually did my hair maybe like three days ago. I don't I don't remember. <laughs> um and I did a rope twist. Uh yeah, so I'm just like refreshing and seeing if they're because there I know there are a couple that actually the rubber bands popped and I kind of just like left it on. Like, see, this one is just out. Let me see. So what I'm gonna do is just spray them. I'll also use just a little bit of spray the roots. <laughs> it's locked. Okay. and just a little bit of oil yes yeah, so i tend to like to do um when i do a retwist i kind of just like to do a retwist i don't really like to style with it tbh uh but this time I didn't have any pins and I didn't want to sit down at the dryer and I'm just like eh, how can I do this in a way that I like still get my retwist retwist is a little bit longer hmm that's what I'm gonna do <laughs> uh, so I decided to do rope twist because this just seems like the easiest solution for me um yeah that's all that's the thought that went back behind it let me see and there 
and that's how you know you've done your rope twist right uh if you are interested in ooh, a tutorial about rope twists i do have one already on my channel and i will leave that in the little little info box above and yeah that's what we did <laughs> And honestly, the only reason why I'm like wetting it is to just kind of make it just a little bit easier to uh, do my twist. But honestly, uh, I'm I don't really care for the twist out. Like I'm not I'm not concerned with that at all. Uh, I'm kind of just like because I'm manipulating my hair right now. I just want to dampen it a little bit. But if you do want more of like a wave curl or whatever when you take your rope twist out, definitely focus more on uh, making sure that your locks are hydrated. Uh, to pick up on that mold, so to say. And I do have to do one um, braid when I do my rope twist because I do have an odd number of locks. Uh, so it's funny that the braid was the one that decided to come out as well. Yeah, so I am, um, I have been working with a designer <laughs> on some pretty cool uh, concepts and merch and all of that jazz and I'm, I'm honestly really excited like I feel like it's been a whole journey <laughs> yeah and I'm just kind of like I'm really I'm grateful to be in the position that I am in um yeah to be able to create things that people want or you know are interested in or that i will one day see on somebody i think that's super dope uh yes yeah, so i'm really excited to share with you all and i can't wait to like uh, i can't wait to um to see what you guys think and just just all of that um but yeah yeah i'm super excited Super excited. That's fine. Ooh. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Just a thinner one. So I may have just been the ones in the far, far back. spoke too soon um but I know that but this is just like a side note y'all like <laughs> my relationships have not been uh, doing what they need to do in this in this particular season and i'm finding that a lot of it has to do with me and uh like i shared with you all like the struggles and whatnot that i've been having in one of my uh friendships relationships whatever um i it like it blah, 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 blah. it kind of uh not kind of the actions and behaviors that i presented in that relationship 
I see them spilling into other relationships. And I'm in this space where I'm like, this cannot continue. I can't, it can't always be the other person. <laughs> it can't um, always be, um, oh, that was just, that was just a weird moment. There has to be, you know, some type of coming to terms with, you know, who I am becoming as a person. And if those friendships or relationships align with who I am as, as, as a being and if I'm growing in these spaces and am I contributing to growth in these spaces, uh, which is a difficult conversation to have with self if you have constantly told yourself or operated in a way that you felt that you were just a good person like you don't do wrong you you don't do bad and not to say that i'm like some awful human being but at the end of the day we all have our flaws and uh, i got them <laughs> so i'm like i have to recognize um you know what those flaws look like and what things have contributed to me becoming this version of self um and what ways i can learn to love and nurture uh those negative pieces of self and find positivity in them potentially or just accept them for what they are um and figure out how i want to <coughs> figure out how i want to uh, move and operate in my relationships moving forward um yeah yeah uh yeah <laughs>